starters, what you're going to need. I'm not sure exactly, I'm going to say this right now. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use on this. For starters, we're going to need our rotary tool, our cutting mat, which is this thing here with the numbers on it. A roll of mesh. Um, this mesh came in a, a package that my friend Donna had sent, so I'm not sure exactly where she got this. I'm thinking deco exchange. I'm not sure though. But anyway, some 10 inch mesh. You're gonna need some pipe cleaners and a wreath form. Mine's from Dollar Tree. Um, you'll need whatever embellishments. Uh, in my case, these are gonna um, they're gonna be the carrots that I made uh, last video so I could put them to use and whatever ribbon or other embellishments that you're that you want to use I'm probably also going to be using my glue gun actually should turn that on okay and um I'm going to set this aside because I already have a work wreath for me. If you want me to make one, make a video of a uh, work wreath, I'm sure you, all the wreath makers already know how to make one. But um, if you do want me to, I can definitely make a video showing you. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and start by cutting my mess. Sorry, I should have had it open already. And this is pretty pretty bad I'm not sure I've never worked with this mesh before so we'll see but I'm the I'm not saying the mesh is bad I'm just saying the edge so we're just gonna go ahead and um, cut that part off just so we can make it straight and this is what you want to start with a clean edge okay. Set that aside. Every time I make a wreath, my craft room like explodes. So we'll see how this is gonna go. Our keys. Scissors. Okay. So here we go. I'm gonna start off by cutting um let's do 12 inch pieces. So just measure out 12. And let's do that with the whole uh, roll. <clears throat> so I got um, 30 12 inch uh, little rolls. I'm thinking though, I'm thinking I'm gonna cut up this pink one. I know pink and green, well it's, it's spring. So let's just go ahead and cut this one up as well. I just want to use it. I don't like having any leftover mesh. I'm going to roll it twice on each side and then and then put the thing. So I'm going to start off in the middle at the top and I am going to put my mesh. I'm just going to fill what I have on my wreath and then I'll go in with more. One, two, get that together and here's your second one. And I'm going to place it at the bottom one right next to this one. Just a, one, one or two times around will do. Could be. Okay, so we will go one, two. Clip. Roll it around. One, two, stretch. One, 
and and around and I know it looks horrid right now but you'll see as we go it'll come along so one two flip flip one two switch And I'm just laying them curl side down. Again. One, two. Flip, flip. One, two. Scrunch. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and then I'll come back when I'm putting the pink so that way you see what I'm going to do with the pink. Okay, So I got one row on completely. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my little holder out and I'm going to do the same thing so one two flip it flip it one two and scrunch just like that and I'm going to put this in here and then I'm going to take my pink one, two, flip, one, two, and scrunch. And I'm going to place it right in here. And now, one second, sorry, I'm going to take some pink ribbon and some green ribbon. This ribbon was from Sam's Club. It's 50 yards. Spent like $8 on it. And what I'm going to do is this one's like really sheer. Look at that. How pretty. And let's go. Hmm, let's do 12 inches too. And then the same thing with the pink. mesh stick it all together grab our wreath form I'll start here at the bottom and this time I'm gonna go like this I went up and down with the mesh with this mesh and ribbon I'm gonna go sideways I think We'll see how that looks. Okay. And this is what it looks like. Now I still have a bunch of pink left over. So I'm going to go in uh, the ones that I skipped. And I have about six pieces left. So I'm going to go in and put those in there. And there you have it. It's nice and full. And ready to be decorated. And let's go ahead and so I just discovered the cards aren't really gonna work so let me just find this knot some wire cutters and 
going to cut off that. But I'll tell you what I do have. And I'm trying to get rid of them because I don't, I'm not going to decorate with them like anymore in the future. Easter eggs. Okay. There she is. I found some carrots uh, that were in the same bucket as the Easter eggs. The carrots I will decorate with in the future. The eggs, I'm not so sure. But yeah, I told you. We were going to deck this thing out with Easter eggs. I wanted to use... All of the eggs that I had. And they're just hiding in there. They're nestled in there. I I think this came out really cute. You're going to have to let me know what you think. She is a big beauty. All right. And there you have it. Our Easter egg wreath. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I really do appreciate you. Remember to please like and subscribe to this channel um, if you liked what you saw today. Uh, again, thank you. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.